Hey everyone, so today, this morning, at the ripe crack of dawn at 5.17am, ask me why I don't film videos at a normal time. <coughs> I don't know, I just couldn't sleep and I really wanted to make a video, and it's also about to start raining and I love rain, so. I just really wanted to film a video and I was about to like buy like 10 horses, but then I was like, you know what? No, I like I shouldn't do that. I should like do something else. And I've had a few people comment for training videos, and someone also asked for a Q and A. I'll put my Instagram in the description of this video. The next training video I'm gonna do is gonna be a Q and A. So if you have any questions, you can follow my Instagram, and I'll do like a thing on there, or you can also just comment them under this video. Oh yeah, I didn't even say like. The topic of today's video for this morning's training session, it's going to be, well, it's probably going to be in the title of the video, so, but I thought I would, like, tell you guys my lore, <laughs> my SSO lore, because I have been playing this game for literally since I was, like, probably 10, like, and I'm 20, so... I, like, have been playing this game, like, since before you could even download it, dude. Like, just, like, for reference. I don't even know, um, what year that was, but... So, I think, like, I don't know. I consider myself an OG, okay? <laughs> I feel like every, like, OG SSO player, like... And by that, I just mean people who've been playing, like, super long time, like, you know, played during the original SSO and all that. Like, you know, OG Steve's Farm, The Jumping Quest, The Orange Cat, The Barn Doors, if you know, you know. Yeah, I thought I would tell you guys about that because I actually have, like, a pretty crazy story. I don't want this to, like, be all over the place, so I'm going to try my best to, like, speak the best I can. So, to set the scene, it was probably like, I don't even know what year, but I'm probably like 10 to 12 years old, okay? So like 8 to 10 years ago. And I am obsessed with this game. Like, actually, fun fact, I used to have a YouTube channel and I had 5,000 subscribers and no, I'm not going to let it go. I was obsessed with this game. I played it all the time, I thought about it all the time, like, I loved it. I asked for star coins every Christmas, for every birthday, like, it literally consumed my life, like, seriously. Also, fun fact, this was not actually the first account I ever made, but I feel like nobody's account is their first account, but I didn't have Star Rider on the other account. My first account I made was named Chloe Disco Water. And I was about to get Star Rider on it, but then I forgot the login info, so then I made Harper Cloudpaw. Where was I even? God, I wish I could like pause this and watch it back right now to like see what I was talking about. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, so I'm like a good 12 years old, obsessed with this game, right? I could, e I could be younger even, I don't even know. Yeah, so I guess, I, okay, I really don't know to this day if I just didn't understand how a credit card worked or debit card or, I don't know if I just didn't understand how they worked or if I thought, like, I don't know who's, my, like, I don't, I don't think I understood how cards worked, okay? One night, I got really down bad for some star coins, okay? Oh my god, I feel so bad about this to this day. Like, my mom still brings it up, and I feel horrible. Anyway, so yeah, one night I'm, like, down bad for some star coins. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to, like, take my mom's card. Yeah, like, this is going exactly where you think it is. I'm going to take my mom's card... And I'm going to buy star coins. And that's exactly what I did. And y'all, 
the worst part is I didn't even buy like a measly 10,000 on double star coins. No, it wasn't even double star coins. And I bought like 50k. Yeah. So, yeah, that's actually also how I got my alt account, which was I I bought Star Rider on it that same night, I think, because I was getting it for my sister. Anyway, so yeah, that's I also uh have my alt account thanks to younger me being a klepto. Yeah, and then okay, so you're probably wondering, okay, so what did you do with the 50k star coins? I bought probably almost every horse in the game, obviously, at the time. There was- I don't even know if there were 50 horses in the game at the time. Like, I remember even buying freaking levels for the horses, and everybody knows, like, like, genuinely, I'm surprised, like, that's even still an option to, like, train your horse with star coins, because I need to know if anyone's actually spending the star coins on that because it's insane like i think it's like a hundred star coins for one level i bought like a bunch of horses probably bought levels i guess i don't know i bought probably bought clothes like i just bought stuff yeah and, and you know what's even stupider is all those horses i bought i don't even have like almost any of them anymore because i was a dumbass and I literally, like, I don't, like, I really don't know what was going on in my head at this time, okay? Like, I don't know what was going on in my premature preteen brain, okay? But I, like, sold all the horses that I bought with the stolen... <sighs> okay, and that's not even the craziest part. Oh my god, I need a... There was one time probably like around this time i sold all my horses just to email star stable and tell them i got hacked and to get them back and they did give them back until i did it a second time with the horses i bought with the 50k the ones i don't have anymore like, when I say, oh yeah, there's so many horses I don't have anymore, this is why. Because I did it a second time. I sold all my horses. And I don't even know what I was gaining from this. I don't know. <laughs> but they did not give them back the second time. Because they probably realized that I was, like, full of shit. So. You got me there. I Like, I don't even, I really don't even... And you're probably also wondering, did my mom ever find out? Yeah, obviously. I think I spent like thousands of her dollars of her money and it wasn't even a credit card. It was a debit card. So. I think she, I don't know if she was able to dispute the charges and I really hope. You know, okay, wait, I'm not doing this race. This is so not aesthetically pleasing. Like, I can't have that, like, huge, ugly ginger man on my horse. Sorry. No discrimination against gingers. It's just he in particular is, like, not easy on the eyes. Anyway, yeah, I, like, hope... I'm pretty sure that my mom was able to, like, dispute the charges or something. But I think also at that time, uh, Star Stable didn't have, like, the same, like, security and, like, authentication they do with the payment methods they do now. Like, now you have to, like, they'll send you a text and you have to, like, approve the payment. Um, but at this time, they, they did not have that and they probably didn't have, like, anything in place to, like, like, they couldn't take my Star Coins back, I guess. I don't know. Either way, it's all good. Uh, I obviously got in trouble. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, so that's basically the story on how I was like a crazy maniac child playing this game. I've always been a bit of an obsessive person though. Like, 
I will get obsessed with a one niche little thing, you know? Like, I mean, obviously I still play this game. And at the time, I think, I don't know, like, I really don't know, but it's like, I want to believe that I just didn't really understand how the cards worked or like how money worked, but it's also like, I feel like I should have been old enough to understand and like, I did not grow up rich or anything. So it's not like, like I grew up with a concept of money and obviously I knew what I was doing was wrong. Like I knew it was wrong when I did it, obviously. So maybe I'm just trying to like give myself the benefit of the in, of the doubt when in that moment I was just like an asshole and that yeah there's just no excuse and I'm like actually like genuinely so surprised that my mom let me even keep playing this game like I know so many parents <laughs> would have absolutely not let them but maybe it's also because like when I was like in middle school like prime playing this game I like had no friends like seriously like not to like trauma dump but like literally was like bullied in like elementary and middle school like had no friends so it's like my mom probably just didn't want to take away the one thing you know, like, because I had friends on this game that I would talk to and stuff, and she knew that. I want to just get to level 13, and then I'm going to be done with this video, I think. I think I covered my entire story. I do want to start making more training videos and maybe start, like, a series type thing. I mean, I probably will. I don't see why not. I don't know if it'll be much of, like, a series. It'll probably just be training videos here and there like of me talking about stuff whenever I have stuff to talk about I guess oh my gosh speaking of well just like being in Golden Hills is like reminding me how excited I am for fall like I just love fall time so much it's so like cozy and I'm so excited for Halloween like it's just so fun I love like costumes okay I really love the Irish cobs I don't know they're just one of my favorite horses in the game they're so cute like you literally can't disagree with me are you kidding me that really okay I'm gonna do the shorter one because it's like worth the same amount okay I just like didn't talk during that entire race so I remember when everyone was like obsessed with getting that race the fastest time because it's like weird. Level 13. So I can max Winter Bean tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment your questions down below if you have any for my next training video. And I will see you in my next video.